Next, let's go to uh, this example, these two examples on this page. This is the sulfate ion. Let's do the Lewis structure for sulfate. Sulfate, so our process, and I really suggest you do the process um, from start to finish each time. Uh, you will see things on the exams that are uh, ungoogleable, and so be prepared to know how to do the process. Um, so sulfur, if you look at it, it has six valence electrons. It's in the same group as oxygen. Then there are four oxygens, and each one of those has six valence electrons. And then add two more for charge. We end up with 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. There are 32 electrons to put into this Lewis structure. Uh, sulfur is the less electronegative element. So as you go down, electronegativity decreases. So sulfur is less electronegative than oxygen. As an, another note, oxygen tends to never be the central atom, except for perhaps water, H2O. And that's only because hydrogen cannot be the central atom. Uh, surround them by surround the sulfur with oxygens, draw single bonds, and then it's time to sprinkle. I will sprinkle in red, and let's see, and I like to just count them up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. And I just exactly ran out of electrons at exactly this, the point where all of the outside atoms had octets. Sulfur, two, four, six, eight. Sulfur also has an octet. No double bonds needed. Final answer, that is the best Lewis structure for the sulfate ion. And that's the answer you should choose should you see it on a homework or an exam. Now let's do ozone. Ozone is gonna be three times the number of valence electrons for oxygen. That will be 18 valence electrons in this case. I'm just gonna call them electrons again. Now uh, there's only one type of atom And so oxygen has to be a center atom. That's another uh, weird one here, but it's good that we see it. I have four electrons, two, four, six, eight, ten. And here's where my method comes in. I will skip the center oxygen to move over to the other side and complete the octets, 12, 14, 16. And then I do have two more. I have to get up to my 18. There you go. I've got 18 electrons. And that's all I can have. Now, I don't have an octet on my central oxygen. I do have octets on my outside oxygen. That means that I do have to form a double bond. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Just choose to move two electrons over to get your final answer. And I always like to put all my electrons back in the same place. So I'm gonna take these two and move them over and leave that spot blank. You don't have to be that consistent or anal retentive. Uh, I'm owning that myself, but, um, but it helps me, so that's why I do it. Let's see, so um, this oxygen on the left, two, four, six, eight octet. Center oxygen, two, four, six, eight octet. Oxygen on the right, two, four, six, eight octet. Everybody's got an octet, everybody is satisfied. That is our final answer here. No square brackets necessary. I'll draw a box around it just because I want to. Now, um, two more examples, two more examples. Um, I'm gonna do two of them, and I'm actually gonna choose this one. Um, actually, I'm gonna skip that one, 
because that one doesn't fall in the scope of this class. So now I have to pick two. Um, that one doesn't either. So I guess I've picked my two. Uh, we're gonna leave that page out. And now I'm just gonna do H2O and ammonia. H2O, uh, I'm gonna have two times one plus six. I have eight valence electrons in this case, but I'm just gonna call them eight electrons. Hydrogen cannot be in the middle. So I will have to put oxygen in the middle. And water, H2O, whatever, uh, is weird because as soon as I start to try and sprinkle electrons around the outside atoms, I realize that each hydrogen already has a duet of two. So I, the only place to put the electrons is, or are on, the only place is the central atom. And now I have two, four, six, eight electrons, done. Similarly, for ammonia and H3, there are five valence electrons for the nitrogen, plus three times one. I have eight valence electrons down here. There is only one central atom, and the hydrogens are all around it. And I've only got six electrons in there. Now I have eight. So that's gonna be my eight electrons for this. And uh, these are two very important Lewis structures that we'll see, especially when we talk about shape.